Hello everyone, I'm Forrest McFreelova and this is Speedplay France and Hearts of Iron 4, number 19. We left off securing the Middle East, we're charging over into the British Raj, which has capitulated, and fighting in Africa, where we are fighting over basically just tons of wasteland provinces with essentially nothing to offer, or really any reason for our troops to be dying in them. At any rate, though, the war is going much better over in India, where the British Raj has capitulated, and the Allied forces are more or less just in indefensible groups. We're trying to take Singapore, which has, as you may have just seen, something like 800 rubber. We are in a deficit of about 300 rubber, so that's really hurting our ability to produce aircraft and mechanized units, which is unfortunate because our war effort is reliant on both of those. Autosaving also takes a particularly long time now, which is a bit annoying even sped up. At any rate, though, we are, send we are sending our forces forward, hopefully going to do well, also encircling allied forces in Africa, and that's really going to be the goal of our war in Africa, to just encircle and destroy as many allied forces as we can without making them pull forces out of the continent to more important areas, really. If they were to pull anywhere near as many forces as they have in Africa over to an important place like Singapore, then we would probably not get that oil anytime soon. Luckily, they're defending the desert wastelands of the Sahara. So we're going to rush in, hopefully just turn Siam or just conquer them basically in just a few moments. We also do go ahead and prepare to send some air forces over. You'll notice a lot of our air wings are undermanned significantly, or I guess just underplaned. So we go ahead and reduce those to more accurate numbers, simply so that our aircraft production for the next very long while won't just be spent uh, getting those all up to an really just unmaintainable, unreachable level of just numbers. At any rate, though, we do go ahead and just send our forces forward. Hopefully we'll be able to just encircle and destroy a decent portion of these allied forces, and hopefully just conquer Siam more or less immediately. Well, really not immediately, but quickly. If we're able to just roll on through, it'll be great news for us. We are, meanwhile, still fighting in Africa, just trying to encircle allied forces, charging across into Siam proper now, sending our armies in three groups, which appear to be doing very well. And we're also apparently just managing to encircle at least small numbers of Siamese and allied forces. So hopefully we'll be able to get rid of the majority of their military before too long. Uh, in Africa, we are doing fairly well. Uh, they are pressing forward. Doesn't really matter too much, though. In Siam, we took over their capital and a few other areas. They did end up cutting our forces off from supply, at least some of them, although it looks like we're cutting off most of their forces from just everything else, so it doesn't matter too significantly. And right, with all that, hopefully they'll be forced to capitulate rather soon. We are also still fighting in Africa, just doing our best to encircle allied forces without having our own forces encircled as well. And there we go, we overran those groups, which is great news. The Siamese aren't really holding up too well, but they are occasionally encircling some of our forces. There we go, they've capitulated. We can hopefully just destroy those troops and go in and take that rubber. We're also back in Vietnam, which is great. We evacuated that right before the Japanese got into the war. And I'm not sure if that one or two groups of infantry really saved the war effort, but I'm glad we saved them. Also, here we go, just sending our forces all throughout. I'm not sure what all we'll need to take. And there we go. We now control all of the rubber that we'll basically ever need, ever. And yeah, that's pretty great news. Uh, with that all said and done, we are only getting about 593 of that, but we only needed something like 300, so that's a lot of extra. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create ourselves a new group of armored units, just a new armored core, get ourselves some self-propelled artillery. We're going to go for the light artillery, though, since Heavy artillery would bring them down to almost half speed, and the main purpose of these things is just to be quick. So there we go, we're going to go ahead and create five of those, uh, not anymore because we don't have very much in the way of manpower. We do have to create some uh, light self-propelled artillery, which we haven't actually built any of ever. And uh, what we're going to do now is just clean up that area. We have a lot of updates because apparently we have been leaving our navy out there, hopefully nothing too serious has happened. And yeah, now we're just going from front to front looking at everything. Not very much is going on of too much significance right now. We did get mechanized units level 3, so we can go ahead and just upgrade all of our production lines to that. 
And uh, once that's done, it's not really as though we're going to have to switch our production lines up very much for very much else. So we could very, uh, very well just focus on having them be stronger instead of having them be able to be more flexible. And uh, at any rate, we are pressing a little bit further against the Allies in Southeast Asia. I'm not really too... Well, that's really the thing. At this point, we don't really gain anything from pushing into the Japanese, much like we don't really gain anything from pushing through Africa. The best thing we can get in Africa is we can encircle Allied divisions and deal with all these autosaves, but encircled Allied divisions and just destroyed their army force. We do go ahead and start researching the technology to make our production lines just produce better. Uh, not so much to be better at switching production. And anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing mainly. Uh, we're going to take back Vietnam to the best of our ability, but I don't want to get a front on the Japanese, because if we get a front on the Japanese, then we're going to have to fight the Japanese. It's better if the Allies do that. So we're going to focus more or less on Africa as we just produce aircraft for the fourth and hopefully ultimate invasion of the British Isles. And yeah, if we can just destroy all these allied units without really reducing the length of the front line, then they'll just have to transfer more forces over. And there's nothing too terrible about that. I also want to get North Africa firmly under our control to really just destroy the allied presence in the Mediterranean, sands a few islands, and some naval elements that we just never bothered to clean up. And yeah, so there we go. We are fighting the allies a bit in uh, Southeast Asia. We're definitely fighting them in North Africa. Everywhere else, the war is more or less just becoming a static sort of thing. Now, that's perfectly fine by me, as really right now we're just using this time to uh, build up our air force. Now, I do see that we never actually did manage to move our navy back, so we do go ahead and send them back. Uh, we've probably dealt with a lot of losses just due to leaving them out there, so that's not ideal at all. Uh, the British are also making some sort of weird press over to South Vietnam, but we're just going to cut them off from everywhere with our armored units. And in North Africa, we're slowing down a little bit. Over here in Vietnam, though, they don't have very many ports. In fact, they only took the one port in Saigon, I believe. So we're going to have to deal with that. However, it looks like French control over Vietnam is coming back. North Africa is doing very well. They only have Casablanca and one uh, Ciuta. Ciuta? I'm so bad at pronunciation. Basically, they have two ports, and hopefully they won't give enough supplies to their armies to make them combat effective. And besides, we are still encircling their units, and that's really the point, which is great news. It looks as though that unit's gone, and we can hopefully take over Casablanca, although that battle is not going very well at all. Uh, they are also sending some allied units just thrusting in. We are hopefully going to just destroy their armies wherever possible. We do pull back from Casablanca. And so yeah, we're going to try to just destroy all of these allied forces, probably leave this group in between us and the Japanese so that they bleed one another white and we don't have to fight that. Although I probably said that at least halfway several times now. Uh, we're cutting off all these weird allied juts into our Africa and hopefully just destroying the units involved. This battle for Casablanca is going much better. And yeah, we're just generally going to be pressing them back in Africa since it's easy and they have a lot of troops, so it basically makes it seem as though we're being more effective than we really are and achieving more than we, quite frankly, really are. However, if it's a battle for resources, we're not really fighting for those anymore. As soon as we took over Singapore, we've had all the resources that our entire French Empire needs, or really wants. Now it's a matter of getting manpower, which we're down to... Uh, only 80,000 of right now, so that's terribly worrying. But uh, manpower is definitely the key asset, and other than manpower, we need production. And production we only need for our air forces, which are hopefully coming along right now, now that we have rubber. So, uh, yeah, we have more or less got this situation under control. The uh, really interesting and important thing is going to be that we just maintain enough manpower that we don't have to change laws to the detriment of our industry until we have a large enough air force that we can comfortably take on the allies and win aerial superiority over the British Isles and eventually have a powerful enough land army that will be able to go to the North American continent and uh, actually get a successful invasion going there. Uh, we are also battling for northern France. It looks like that's going all right. We do go ahead and start setting up our air units. 
And really the only mobile front right now is Africa, although that is partially by choice. Uh, and that choice, well, I've already explained it. At any rate though, we do go ahead and create motorized units. Apparently we need those for the creation of our armored core for whatever reason. I guess they can't use mechanized. Uh, I won't really mind that too much. I guess we'll start that production line and just deal with it. Uh, unfortunately, we're also not really fighting for territories where we can gain more factories. That's once again going to be something that we can achieve once we control the British Isles, and that just loops back into the same cycle, and the one characteristic that we're waiting for is just our Air Force to be produced. And that's just a matter of time now, and as soon as we have a decently large Air Force, that's we're going to just be able to attack. That's really all there is to it. Uh, we are pressing pretty rapidly in Africa, just because at this point it's fairly easy for us to do so. Resistance is not what it used to be. And hopefully the Allies are running low, or perhaps even out, if we're lucky, of manpower, which would be fantastic news and a tremendous boon for us. We are, however, fighting a weirdly, weirdly even battle for the skies over northern France. So we do go ahead and send our aircraft over there, uh, really just all of them are going to be sent over with the idea being that if the British want to lose their air force fighting over our lands and our anti-aircraft guns they're free and welcome to. We also create three new nuclear reactors, we'll probably just keep pumping out more of those as time goes on and sending even more of our fighter craft over the, well, over northern France on both air superiority and air intercept missions. I'm not sure if we gain or lose anything by doubling up on those, so we may as well just do it and hope for the best. We also have almost 2,000 jet fighters now. Hopefully they will be able to just dominate the battlefields, or I guess skies. Battle skies, that's not really a phrase. There's probably something more articulate for that. At any rate though, uh, now it's really just between us and the British for production of our air forces, and it looks as though the air war has begun on their terms, although in our favor. Which honestly is a mix that I can live with. At any rate, we're going to stop right here for today. The uh, Japanese front has more or less calmed down, which is pretty great news, and the fronts against the Allies have resulted in just a pretty marked gain in Allied casualties, which is always welcome and really not at the cost of too many of our own, and we're producing nuclear weapons now. So the war will hopefully be drawing towards a close as we come back, but no promises. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow.